Wow. What's up? I'm Rich Lux and welcome to my closet tour. All right, guys, before we begin the closet tour, this video is sponsored by the House by Manscaped. All right, guys, so in this video, I wanna show you my newly renovated closet tour. I wanna show you what new bags I have, so come on, follow me this way. So this is my penthouse in Houston, Texas, where I film majority of all my content. If you guys wanna see a whole entire tour of this place, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. And if I get enough likes and comments on the video, then we'll shoot a whole entire penthouse tour. But until then, I wanna show you guys my closet, so follow me. First piece I wanna show you about, this is leading into my closet. This piece is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton scarves. And so what I did is I went ahead and had it framed. So if you have a like, really cool scarf that you like from your favorite like design house, you can get it framed. So that's what I did here. So it's like art within art. And uh, you know, some of the scarves, they come and they go, or they come and they're like very limited edition. So if you have something you really like, just try framing it, whatever. All right, so the actual closet is right here. And okay, guys, I'm, here we go. This is the closet. I love it so much. I had a great friend of mine named Steve. Steve, are you here? I'm here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so Steve basically hooked up the closet. He like what, like organized it, decorated it for me, and uh, it just it means a lot because he did it from his heart. So it just shows that he really put effort into it. Because I didn't know you were like, hey, can I do your closet? And I was like. Sure, I didn't know you were like a really good closet organizer. Yeah. Yeah, so if you wanna see the transformation of the closet, check out his YouTube video, I'll put the link down below. If it's not there yet, it's gonna be there, so definitely check out. Yeah. yeah, definitely subscribe to his YouTube channel so you can see the transformation of like the closet. Like, I feel bad, because it was a lot of work. Oh my God, I'm gonna send you the bell later. <laughs> oh, but I love this, because now when you walk in here, you can see all your hard work that you wore so hard, and this is the, like a trophy for you. You can yeah. see it. I, I didn't really notice that, and like I've had like, I've been building this collection since we, we met. Yes. Like piece by piece. And I had like a couple bumps in the road where like some stuff would go missing or stuff mm. end up stolen or whatever. And I very much like let go and let God and just report it to the police, whatever is all I can do. But I want to like talk to you about some of the pieces I have in the closet and yeah. So the idea of creating a closet, you really figured out what is true essence of you. For me, Rich Lux is all about his um, the vision so i put his crown on the top so he can always remember when he first started i think it's very important to him and then a lot of time when you come into the closet you have a regular carpet you can see that's kind of boring so if you have any nice rut so we're putting the chanel um uh, blanket on the floor so that create different dimension different layer and um because we want to use this as a um, future filming studio for the luxury uh, luxury item so we're putting the clear chair if you're in a small closet, small space here, get a clear one, the best. So this will create more room and putting a nice um, pillow right here, accent pillow will be really great. And uh, definitely if you're empty space, you can stack things up. It doesn't have to be always designer, but any luggage, even you can find this a vintage uh, luggage piece, you can put a stack it right here. It become really tasteful too. So it's a little thing that I did for Rich. Hope you like it. All right, guys, so I want to show you some of the stuff in my closet. All right, so I picked up this really cool bando. Uh, I think it was from last season. And then I picked up this one, too, because I just really like the designs of it because it has, like, the, uh, the iconic Louis Vuitton bags on there. And most of them are reversible, so you can kind of see, like, some stuff on the back with the Vachetta. And then um, we got a Chanel box. You can get this on Chanel.com. So you can, like, you're supposed to, like, put like your skincare in there but i just kind of put like condoms or whatever stuff in there honestly to be honest and then over here we have the louis vuitton prism backpack this piece i was so shook that i was able to get this entire piece because we went i went to louis vuitton las vegas it was the uh the bellagio louis vuitton store and the men's it just opened up so it had like a really rare piece to get people to come in and shop so i was so lucky i was able to find this backpack and I just saw it sitting on the shelf and I was like, 
wait a minute, like how is this bag available like here? And it wasn't even in the computer. It was just like an in-store exclusive to get people to shop in that Louis Vuitton store. So I saw it, I had to get it, and it's already increasing in value just sitting here. So it's like a rare piece. All right, then I got this really, really cool Louis Vuitton scarf right here. It just basically drapes all over the body. I like how it's like this like metallic green-ish brown. And then on this side, you can see more of a color on that side. So yeah, and then I checked out this piece right here. This was a reversible scarf, so you can see the white underneath it. This piece right here I got at the Louis Vuitton store, Fifth Avenue, Manhattan. And uh, I saw it and I passed up on it. I was like, oh, I'll just get it later. I'll find it somewhere else. Gone, I couldn't find it ever. And it wasn't until the pop-up shop at the Bellagio Louis Vuitton store when I found it again, so I went and got it. And then this is the from the Escal collection. So you got the small, medium, and large. And then this piece right here is gonna be, I think it's the Arts and Crafts Louis Vuitton collection. It's actually a holder for your fragrances. So you can like put the Louis Vuitton fragrances inside here. So I picked this up because it was like a rare piece and I think it's very limited, so I got it. You got some more pieces up there from like the Nano collection. And then moving this way, I have my trunks. Like I'm obsessed with Louis Vuitton trunks. Like I feel like, I know a lot of people love like those basic LV pieces, but I'm like obsessed with the trunk. So we got some stuff down there. So you can see like the hat boxes and the giant travel trunks. And you got some really cool pieces right there from the cloud collection, it was just super limited. And like, it's just like a shrine of just like my hard work. Cause I really didn't notice like how much I had until Steve decorated the closet and I organized it. It made, made me like realize like, whoa, like at the end of the day, it's all like material stuff. I know it doesn't mean anything. Like at the end of the day, just probably just like just wood and plastic and metal, but it means so, so much to me. It just means like my hard work, my dedication. I remember like sleeping on the floor of my mom's house, like from nothing. It's like building my channel and just like building my wealth and my growth and investment. So I really just like, I just, I just love it because they already increase in value just by having them. And so most of these pieces I really don't use. Every now and then on a special occasion, I'll pull one out and use it, but they just really mean a lot to me. So I have them here displayed. And then I'm gonna show you some of the stuff we have in here. So we pull this open. We have some, oh, I love this piece right here. It's one of my favorite pieces. This piece right here means a lot to me when my father was still alive because he passed away of cirrhosis of the liver. I remember I bought this card around that time and I just always just kept it. And then this piece is always so hard to get. This piece right here was a gift from a friend of mine named Van Luke. Let's see. So these are super, super like rare to get. And they're like, whoa. Like just having them on, I just feel like it just makes me look so much more boss. But I like them. But I'm like with me, I always end up losing my glasses. So I try not to use them too much because I just leave them behind everywhere. Then we have some uh, pieces from Hermes. So we got, the, I think they're click clack. So they're like really cool like bracelets that like everyone who's into fashion has these click clacks, they're amazing. And then we have some like limited pieces here. And then I have also like some luggage tags. I think the most weirdest thing I have is probably socks, like Fendi socks for some reason. Then I have some like just silly stuff that I like to collect like coins. So this is like one Troy ounce of silver. And then like up here I have like some money that I like really like to collect, but like, check these out guys. So this is a dollar. This $1, I bought it for $110. It's like that blue label. That's super, super rare to get. And so, yeah, it means a lot. So follow me this way. We have like Fendi card holders. And then this is the Dior makeup collection that's like picked up along the way. So every year they release one of these bags. So I just like just doing there because it's cool. And then my uh, crazy Gucci sunglasses. These are so dope. All right, in this drawer here, I have like some scarves, some like Fendi scarves, some Versace scarves, some Gucci scarves. And then if you're like really, really into jewelry, then this drawer, I think you might like some of the stuff in here. So it's a lot. So it's like, I like how it's like individual pieces and it kind of just moves back and forth. So yeah. So opening up this side, we have more Louis Vuitton pieces. So we got the trifecta going on here. So you got the 15, 19, and 26. Toy Street process, so it, it's so hard to find the small one and the big one because they always sell out so quick. So I was able to get like the trifecta here. Then we have, uh, this one I would say I use the most, which is the it's a Speedy 40. And that's what that one is. And it's like the biggest Speedy that you can get. After that, you start going into like keep offs. So up here you have some laptop holders. So you have the 13 inch and the 15 inch. 
So I like that. So when I travel, I'll just throw my laptop in there. And then we have some clothes, some designer clothes on this side and like some like, oh, this one, when this one came out, oh my gosh, I freaking love that one. So it's like a lot of Fendi, I'm obsessed with Fendi. Uh, and we have some Versace here. This is the Jungle Collection from Johnny Versace that came out with Jennifer Lopez back in the day. So I got that and I got obsessed with like Sandro Paris and like Burberry and stuff like that. But with that being said, there's like so many like undiscovered up and coming like designers. So I find them on Instagram or I find them like on like fashion articles and I'll go to their website and I'll buy from them. So I know like a lot of stuff you've seen here is very like high end luxury stuff, but there's really cool fashion designers out there that no one knows about. They, they have a really, really cool fashion. I like supporting them and I buy some of their clothes as well. All right guys, so that was pretty much my closet. I wanna thank Steve for organizing it for me. And yeah, and this is like a true testament that like I started from nothing. I wasn't born with money. And if you just work hard at it and you have a dream, you can like achieve a lot of this stuff too. You can just like have it. If, it, if this is what you're into, this does not mean anything that you're successful or anything like that. Every people buy cars or houses or have kids or a good relationship to them means success. So it's like whatever you wanna do, I just collect them because I just like, I'm just in love with them. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Check out Steve's channel in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.